Hi, I am Olympia LaPointe, host of Answers Unleashed talk show, seen on AnswersUnleashed.com. What happens when you lie to yourself? Now, I know that's a strange question, but honestly, what happens when you lie to yourself? There's actually a trigger that happens in your brain that affects your entire life when you are not completely honest with yourself. Now, let me describe this a little bit more. Have you ever been in a situation where you're thinking, oh, well, what if I just fib about how much I earn per year so I can feel better about myself? Have you ever been in that situation? Or have you told someone your age and that's not accurate? These are the things that you do where you lie and you're not only lying to the person that you're around, but you're actually lying to yourself. Now, you may think, what's, what's the big deal about fibbing about something? Well, it's really big, and let me describe to you why. When we lie, we not only lie to the other person, we lie to ourselves, and that completely affects our brain power. We completely become someone who we're not intended to become, and it takes away our ability to create innovative projects that are innovative, are genuine, and are real to who we are as a person. Now, let me break this down to you a little bit more per science. When someone creates a lie in their brain, it actually has a two-part scale. You have to be very creative to generate the lie in itself. Like for example, uh, if you are late and you say, oh, the traffic helped me, you actually have to think of a reason or an excuse, and that's a part of your creative frontal brain lobes, which is actually a great thing. However, when you execute the lie, that creates a whole nother part of your brain that is not ever intended to be used. When someone executes a lie, their ability to be genuine with themselves completely, 100% goes out the window and you have to be honest with yourself directly after to get yourself back. Now, what happens if you continuously lie? Have these little lies here, lies there, so you feel better about yourself? Well, it's not doing you any good because let me describe to you what really happens. All right. I'm a spiritual person. So if you look at this in not only in a scientific way, but a spiritual way, you'll see the significance of it. If you lie to yourself, let me move this out of the way so you see. If you lie to yourself, here you are, originally you're aligned with genuine with who you are. But if you start lying to yourself, what happens is you become unaligned, meaning your soul doesn't necessarily love what it is that you're doing. Your brain, doesn't completely know what's the truth and what's not because you're not completely honest with yourself and then on top of it you start getting into problems meaning here's your brain not completely aligned here's your soul not completely feeling comfortable with what you're doing and you go through life completely knocking into things having accidents and not completely knowing where you are because you are not genuine with yourself. My theory is you'll come across accidents, car accidents, you'll stump your toe, you'll, you won't see straight, you'll have issues, all because you're not being genuine with who you really are. Now this happened to me. I, if you know anything about my background, I grew up in severe poverty, not much money at all. And I went to a school with people that had lots of money, lots of education, and I felt bad and I felt ashamed that I didn't have money like the rest of the people. So what did I do? I lied. I lied when I didn't have paper to go to school. I lied, oh yeah, I just ran out. And I, I had some in the other class when really I didn't have any. These types of things that happened in my system created shame. Anytime there's shame that's created from a lie, we then get separated from ourselves. So what do you do? How can you bring yourself back? How can you bring yourself back together? How can you continuously be aligned so you're not in type of situations where you come across issues? Well, here's the first trick. Number one, be real with yourself. All right, now that's the hardest thing for people to do, but it's the best thing. If you become real with yourself, something happens. You start recognizing the beauty of who you are. Now, being real with yourself is, why did I just tell that person that, that, that lie? Why, why did I do that? What was the reason? When you're real with yourself, you think, okay, for example, with your, if you're late, 
and you use the excuse of, of traffic, why did I tell the person that I was running late because of traffic? Did I not want to share? I didn't prepare in advance and I felt bad and it was hard for me to get up out of the bed so that's why I made this excuse for that because I didn't want people to know that I was going through difficulty. What's the reason? When you become real with yourself knowing that is real, this is what I was really feeling, something amazing happens. You feel great about yourself because you are being honest. The second trick, the second trick to becoming aligned and knowing who you are is recognizing the truth in other people. You know, sometimes you hold someone up to this greater than God type of scenario. You do that with celebrities. You see celebrities on TV and go, oh, wish I could have hair like that person or, or makeup like that person or I wonder if I could have money like that person. What would it be like? Everyone is human. No one, no one, no one is exempt from going to the restroom and doing number two. <laughs> you gotta think about it that way. Every, every single person is human. So you gotta treat someone that way. Everyone has their flaws. No one is perfect. When you recognize that the person sitting directly across from you has their own issues and that they in, are in this life working together with you to create not only a better themselves but a better life, that's when you recognize that the person directly uh, away from you has the opportunity to be genuine as well. Here's the third tip. All right, so now when you're real with yourself, when you're looking at the other person, recognizing how real they are and they're not perfect, the third is still getting up and doing things and showing up despite how you feel, what you've done, or however you have lied before. I know that is big for some of you, but you have to be real with yourself. When you say, all right, I'm still gonna show up. I'm gonna tell them the truth. Do you know what? When I told you that the other week, do you know what? That was a lie. That wasn't the truth. This is really what the truth is. I was just ashamed to be able to say that. When you actually still show up, still choose to move in your calling and recognize that you are everywhere where you're supposed to be at the exact moment in time where you're supposed to be, that is no randomness, but rather it's fate on why you are there. That's when your truth can exude and you can be the person who is designed to change this world. I am Olympia LaPointe and I hope this video finds you well. And for more tips like this, visit AnswersUnleashed.com. I am Olympia LaPointe. I'll see you next time.